What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gunner here and today I'm going to be reviewing the high grade transient Gundam Glacier from the Bill Fighters Hono Tri manga series or like ma magazine storyline series. So this is the homage of the transient Gundam by Team Lapis Lazuli. And yeah, just look at this thing. I really dislike the hollow parts right here, but overall it just looks amazing. And I really like that this color scheme. Like it all it all revolves around oh sorry. It all revolves around the purple color gradient. And that's what that's what brings out like the uniqueness of this to the transient gundam because the transient gundam basically all white so it does reuse some parts of the original transient peculiarly on the body so you have what I can find <coughs> the shoulder armor up here the original shoulder armor as the binder pieces and the side armors but just the armor right under the leg condensers as the like back skirt over here and that's basically what I can find. So you have like new topping armor for the feet. You have new side armor for the legs. You have an entirely new front skirt. Same side skirts, new arms, new shoulder armor to incorporate these purple pieces. And basically the original parts of the GM Partisans over here with new clear pieces. So one thing to say about this glue the front skirt on. Yeah, also, I, I really like this new head sculpt because it really like just brings out the evil kind of feeling from this. And I like that the eyes do not need to be separate. Speaking of eyes, yeah, the eye stickers, which are not separate, as I said. The forehead camera, if you can even see that. Nothing on the back. And really no no that's not all the front skirt has this kind of purple piece and also like the black piece on the stomach so that's all the details for the transient Gundam Glacier For the articulation of this guy is basically the same as the original. So the head is on a double ball joint, which mine is kind of floppy because the top joint and yeah, basically the ball joint is pretty floppy on this thing. So you got the patent arms that can rotate, they can go out if you pull out the joint, and the shoulder armor can come down a bit, the arms can come out a bit. And they can rotate above the elbow and then a double jointed elbow, a ball jointed wrist, which is very, very tight in there. Ball jointed stomach and waist. The waist we cannot get too much out of. And yeah, you can see one of the problems because just they are, because they are just slotted in, it doesn't really like give it too much hold. The front skirt obviously falls off, but doesn't move. Back skirt obviously doesn't move because this giant chunk. The side skirts are on those universal body cap joints. The legs cannot go anywhere, but they can go forwards, backwards some, outwards, rotate at the hip. Very, very hard to execute. A double jointed knee, but yeah, just be careful. It has the same problem as the transient because the bottom joint barely does anything and I just disengage the front skirt again the bottom joint barely does anything but the top joint basically does all the work so be careful when you're bending it and then the feet can go forwards and back nothing side to side not quite rotate and then you can point down and these, this piece of armor can move up and down and then the wings or the binders so the the entire chunk up here can move forwards and back 
these binder pieces can move forward and back, these gene partisan bits can move forward and back, up and down, and this piece can peculiarly move up and down. So even the smallest pieces get the biggest movement of all. And then the bottom pieces, they can rotate out here, it's on a ball joint at this base, and then they can go up and down. So, a lot of articulation on this guy, especially on the backpack. So let me just plug him into the sand because he doesn't want to stand up. Well, small feet is still the issue. So, articulation of this guy is pretty good. So for accessories, you have the fist hands and also the thumbs up hands. And the thumbs up hands are used to hold the GN Partisans 2. Just look at this. This is sleek and simple. Like, I like the original mechanical design. Like, you had the clear pieces that cover up the joints. But, it would just wear off for functionality. So, these have no moving parts whatsoever except for me messing up. So, you can just feed it into the hand like this. And let it hold it. And these hands are kind of on an angle as well. So you can basically do some shooting poses where it shoots out of his partisan. And then you have the old gimmick. This It can split up. And you can use this as a dagger or you can just fly around. But you need more action bases to display the lance bits. So let me just let it hold the dagger. Actually, you know how that works, but you have an added function on the arms. So these are originally the arm welcomes. So you can actually mount this on the arms just by clicking it into the armor. Very secure with the like, additional friction from what I feel from the clear pieces. And you can adjust it up and down to suit your needs. So yeah, hand free weapons. What a surprise. So basically all four of the land spits can be on the transient Gundam Glacier. So you do not need to so you can like occupy less shelf space, which is what I like about this kit. And obviously the looks. So that is all the accessories for the transient Gundam Glacier. So for comparisons, who can I bring in except Kijima's counterpart? So you guys really want to see these two fight together in the story, but no, we have a preview of it already. So anticlimactic, isn't it? But anyways, these two guys look very good together. It's like the angel and the devil, don't you, don't you feel? So, that is the review of the transient Gundam Glacier. So, tell me in the comments below what do you think of this guy and which variant of the transient do you like the most. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more. Gaming videos, model reviews, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to Ultra Prime, Ace of Videos, and... Pure sentence if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.